So I thought I'd create a quick video on how to connect your unsupported wheel and pedals and accessories to the Series X. So with this plug you plug it into the Xbox and the other end goes directly into the drive hub itself. This provides it power and communication to the device. So we just plug it into the console port on the drive hub. You can see it power on. So our next step is to get your console's controller and plug it directly into the drive hub. This kind of makes it like a slave device. And it is what makes the drive hub work. So just plug it into the controller port. Now as you can see the next step is to plug in your wheel. If you have a PS4 mode on your wheel then make sure you set it to PS3 or PC mode. I just need to follow my cable and plug it directly into the drive hub again. So in my case I've got a Thrustmaster T300 steering wheel, Thrustmaster TSS handbrake, Fanatec club support pedals, Fanatec club support shifter. So the T300 steering wheel naturally doesn't support Xbox as it is a PlayStation branded steering wheel and it has a PlayStation 4 chip inside of it. And even if it did work, Fanatec gear generally doesn't work on consoles with different brands like Thrustmaster because um, all the gear usually plugs directly into the steering wheel. Like you can't plug the Fanatec club sport pedals directly via USB into the console. So a little device called the Drive Hub. Its mission is to solve all these problems. So with, in my case, I can connect all of my devices into one and it should all work. If you want to connect more than one accessory, then you'll need a USB hub as there's only one accessory port. I've previously tested this on Forza Horizon 4 a few months ago and everything seemed to be working well except the force feedback didn't seem to be coming through. Um, I've recently looked through the forums and there's been a patch for firmware 2.0.7 beta 7 which added a new driver for for, uh, Forza Horizon 4 specifically for the Xbox series consoles. So we'll see if that works today. So I'll just sign into my account and then hop into Forza Horizon 4. The buttons on the steering wheel seem to be working so that's good. Just going to see if the pedals work. Yep. Steering wheel works, pedals work, that's good. Okay, now we go to a good place to test force feedback. So now we're on a gravelish road and it's quite bumpy, so you can see the steering wheel is responding with force feedback. So that's working. So the new firmware update seems to be doing its job, which is good. leads to a good old crash into a wall test of the force feedback. Let's see if we can find a place to do that. Right, here we go, a T-section. So I've just crashed directly into the wall. Yep, so it responded nicely. So here I'm just checking if my sequential shifter works, which it does, which is awesome news. Okay, now just to check if my pedals work. Looks 
accelerator obviously works, but yep, the brakes work pretty well too. So on the side of the Fantec shifter, there's this switch where you can switch it from sequential or to the H shifter really quickly. So here I'm changing it from sequential to the H shifter. Let's just give that a go. First gear, second gear, yep. Third gear. Yeah, all seems to be working fine. Let's check reverse. Perfect. Nice, that's all working. Okay, I'm just gonna go through the buttons and just see what they do. So the PlayStation button is the same as pushing the Xbox button. Um, circle goes back nicely. Start button works. Triangle is change view. Square is rewind. Directional pad works in the menu. Pushing the pedal shifters um, tabs the menu, so that works good. So should be able to easily go through all the menus with the PlayStation wheel. Share button doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, the L3, R3 buttons don't seem to do anything. Well, they might, but I didn't notice anything. And the pedals change gear nicely. Okay, I think it's time for a nice long drive. Two things I did note on this long drive is that my handbrake wasn't working. Uh, not sure why. I didn't spend too much time trying to solve it. And also the clutch didn't work, but I'm pretty sure that's just because Forza Horizon doesn't use a clutch. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Everything else worked perfectly fine.